if this morning, through the prayers both spoken and sung, and through the word of God both read and proclaimed, you have found yourself drawn toward the balance found only in the gospel of Jesus the Christ, or found yourself longing to explore what the gospel is all about, or perhaps you are moved to consider membership at Second Presbyterian Church, you were invited to join one of the pastors at the foot of the chancel steps this morning following this service of worship. And now I would invite you to stand and say what it is that we believe through the Apostles' Creed, which can be found printed in your bulletin. Christians, what do you believe? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. You may be seated. Let us pray. Loving God, we are in desperate need of your guidance in our often unbalanced and confused lives. When we wobble and fall, stand us up and help us walk again in the balanced way of your mercy, kindness, and love. We pray for the church and for all who teach others with grace and lead with compassionate guidance. We pray for peace among nations and peace between people. We pray for those suffering the scourge of war and the calamities of nature. We pray for all those in need, especially women, men, and children who suffer domestic violence and homelessness. We pray for those who are ill, their families, and their caregivers, as well as the family and loved ones of Edgar Hauser, Jr. We pray for those whose lives have been impacted by the bus accident at Colonial Hills Baptist Church, as well as the tragic recent train derailment in Europe. We pray for those who refuse to give, who have more than enough, but choose to build new barns in which to hoard instead of help. In your unfaltering mercy and kindness, bring the balance you desire back into our lives when our equilibrium is off and our passion for your world is failing. Loving God, through Jesus Christ, you nurture and nourish us. Remind us that you love us with a steadfast and balanced love, the low and high, the rich and poor alike. Renew us in your call and release us from all fear that we may heed these things and consider your steadfast love for all. And may we be aware of Jesus the Christ and his presence in our midst. And may we be challenged to walk in his way the same Christ who once taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs> 